Before you get ready to throw away those old brake pads, take a look at them. Read the wear patterns. You can learn a lot about brake hardware. We're gonna talk about it next. This video is sponsored by Carlson, manufacturer of disc and drum brake hardware, electric wear sensors, and brake lines. Visit carlsonqualitybrakeparts.com for more information. If your immediate reaction is just go throw these old brake pads away, well, next time you do a brake job, take a look. They're really gonna show you a lot about the condition of the brakes on the vehicle, including the caliper and the brake hardware that was previously on them. For instance, let's talk about these brake pads that came off the same vehicle. This is the left and this is the right. On this side was the side that was making the most noise and brought the customer in. It is easy to see that the inboard pad wore away a lot quicker than the outboard pad. And on the other side, well, we got nice even wear. First of all, it was easy to see that the old hardware on the vehicle was not replaced during the previous brake job. This hardware, well, it caused a lot of friction between the pad and the caliper bracket and prevented the pad from properly moving to help float the caliper over the rotor. There is a clear connection between the hardware and the brake pad wear problem. This is why every time the pads are replaced, it is critical that the hardware is also replaced. If not, you're not doing a full brake job on the vehicle. So by my estimation, the driver of this vehicle would have at least another 15,000 miles on his previous brake job. This wouldn't have been a problem if the hardware had been replaced during the initial brake job. But the main reason why we saw this uneven brake pad wear, well, it was one of the guide pins. The previous brake job, well, they didn't lubricate and service it, and the boot itself actually had a rip in it. This allowed water and debris to enter the slide, well, and this caused the caliper to seize and resulted in this uneven brake pad wear. So let's discuss the three bad wear patterns that you may see on vehicles out there and how the hardware and caliper can influence the wear on the brake pads. The number one wear pattern you're gonna see is inner pad wear. This will wear out before the outer pad. Typically, this is because the caliper has seized and it's no longer able to float over the rotor. So it's just breaking with that inboard pad and it's gonna wear a lot faster than that outboard pad. Number two, it is outboard wear of the outboard pad on the caliper. This is typically a sign that the caliper is not able to fully release after pressure is removed from the back of the piston. Typically what's happening, well, that outboard pad, when the inboard retracts, well, it's still stuck there and it's gonna wear a little bit faster over time. Number three is tapered pad wear. This is typically a sign that the hardware has failed and the brake pad can no longer move freely in the caliper bracket. Typically, this is a sign that either the top or bottom caliper bracket slide, well, it's failed and the pad just moves on one side and it can't adjust or move evenly and apply even pressure to the rotor. Those are the three main ones you're gonna see, but pay attention to the brake pad. Look at the brake pad for any signs of glazing or thermal distress. This could be a sign that well, the brake system is overheated and you need to either service the brake fluid or even the brake hose on the vehicle. So when you pull those brake pads off the vehicle, take a moment to read them and read the brake hardware on the vehicle. This way you're gonna learn a very important lesson that you should replace the hardware on every single brake job to make sure they wear evenly. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.